All right, here's a couple cool creations for you. These are different. Um, here's the smallest semi-seamless 2x2 Jeb door. And um, it's only semi-seamless. Uh, you, you can't see anything on the inside when you walk through. However, you can see pistons on the back. That's, what, that's the part that makes it semi-seamless. Um, I use this one. However, a lot of you don't like to see pistons in the back, I understand. So um, here's the smallest fully seamless 2x2 Jeb door. Um, and I'm not the first to come up with these sizes, uh, people have come up with them before, but, um, here are my designs that I want to show you. So you're going to just want to, I'm going to build my floor already, so floor, there we go, and then, um, go up one, and then two pistons here on the side, and these are the ones that will push out the top bits, and there we go. And you're done with that much. And from the top, you're going to need to go up two again. And then normal piston. Normal piston. And, well, you're just going to need to place normal pistons underneath these. Go down two. And then just put the pistons like that. So, um, yeah. And if you're not a good counter, it should be level with these front guys. So... Uh, the lever placement on this is a little bit wacky, but I just did that to conserve space. If you don't like it, I will show you how to make it look a little bit nicer later. So, uh, you're going to need to get the output from this dust over here. So, I'm just going to place a piston with a block of redstone down there. And uh, this part's a little bit ugly, but it does work. So, bear with me. Here is a repeater on four, and then two dust. So, um, that's basically just inverting it, since, uh, like, if I were to get the output from up here, um, I don't want it to be on when the rest of it is off, so I have to go lower by one, which is, like I said, it's kind of like, it, that I, if I could slow down, maybe I might be able to pronounce words. Um, it is kind of like an inverter. So, same thing on this side, repeater on four and then the dust, and you're done. Uh, really, really fast. Uh, time set day. And then you go, uh, oh, and I forgot to place the updating pistons. You're going to need an updating piston there and one there. So when, um, it, it, what, uh, what this is always going to be constantly powered. So, and pistons cannot push extended pistons. And this guy is extended. So he's like, I can't push. And only when it'll turn off, like when the entire system turns off, except for this repeater, then um, it'll be like, oh, I can push up now. And that's what the updating piston does. It tells this guy you can push up. So uh, here, let me just flick it and turn it off. And yay, it works. So that's the semi-seamless one. You can see the pistons on the back. Now the fully seamless one, the exact same piston layout, except in the back. So here, let's build the floor again. Then you go up by one, out, and then up. Out, and then up. Hey, it would be interesting if, uh, if I, did, I, I mean, I can build pretty quickly. Uh, you guys in the comments, tell me what you would think of me doing, like, a quick build thing. Like, see if I can build one of my creations in under, I don't know, like, uh, uh, 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. Uh, something challenging, but not impossible. Like, I can't build a creation in one second. That's a normal piston. Uh, I can't, like, I'm not the Flash. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Then, on the back, you're actually going to need to place side pistons the, uh, to make it fully seamless. And a uh, piston there, and a piston there. Oops. Uh, yeah, like the right-click thing. It's still getting to me. I'm getting used to it. Same lever thing, and I. Uh, you could do the same thing to both this and that to make it, uh, like, to get the input from somewhere else. So, yeah. You're going to need dust on all of these, actually. Dust, dust, dust. You're my best friend. And, uh... You're going to need to get the piston, like the, what do you call it, the redstone block output from the same guy again. And uh, so up to here, it's almost uh, exactly the same, actually. Until here, uh, instead of powering it with a repeater on four, I do have this extra space I can wrap around, which is why I'm doing it like this. Um, otherwise, I, I can't do that in, without extending it out by one, which I don't really want to do. But in this, uh, I'm already using this space, so why not take advantage of it and make it smaller in height. So over here, I'm just going to need to place that, and then that, and that, and then that. So um, it's done. 
already. Uh, this was also really quick. And uh, you don't need an updating piston on this one because the torch and dust and stuff. It updates automatically. So that's it for this video except for the fact that I need to teach you how to get the output out. So um, to power, you just need to power these two pistons at the dust basically. So you can just get your output from there and then um, you know it still works. And then this one same story. Just break that place dust here. Whoops. Dust here and then you could just have like dust going wherever. I'm just like wee yay dust. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please uh, give positive ratings if you enjoyed. And if you don't like the video, at least tell me why in the comments so I can improve. But until next video, uh, goodbye.